good morning everybody i hope you're having a beautiful morning so far it's monday happy monday um isaac has this shirt on today for school and it says how beautiful are the feet of those who preach the gospel and you know it's funny because as isaac was growing up and olivia was growing up i reflect when they were little I used to pray over Olivia that she would sing his praises all of her days and that God would open Isaac's mouth and that he would preach the gospel and would preach God's word. And, you know, it's funny because Olivia is very vocal about her faith and Isaac, he, um, you know, has special needs. And so I used to think, Lord, did I pray wrong? Did I ask wrong? You know, and I... I don't know what God has in store for Olivia and Isaac. They're 16 and 14. But I know that a mama's heart is always to pray for God to give good gifts to our children. And that our children would praise the Lord, be used of the Lord, be blessed of the Lord. You know, all of those things. So a couple of years ago, Isaac's former teacher that he had at the public school for special ed she was an aide she was a um, special education you know paraprofessional they call them a, an aide and her and isaac just had a special bond and she told me once she left the school and i was really sad and i said miss shannon why why didn't you let me know you were leaving and i heard you got your own classroom i'm so proud of you and um, we finally got together or we talked on the phone or something. And she said, you know, Isaac is the one that inspired me to finish my degree and to teach special ed. And I couldn't believe that. I was just absolutely shocked that my special needs son, who really can't say much, he can't have a full-blown conversation with anyone, that God would use him to inspire this aid to further her education and become a special education teacher. And so we don't know who, what, how God will use our children, but we pray that he does and that God would use us. You know, we are God's children. You know, we are um, his workmanship created for good works. And so let's continue to pray that God would use us, that God would use our children, grandchildren, nieces, nephews, you know, all of those people that we know and love our spouses that we would be used of God that we would be poured out as a drink offering for him because even though Isaac can't have Isaac can't just go on the street corner and preach the gospel but as you know that famous quote you know preach the gospel every day and if necessary use words Isaac is a walking testimony of God's grace he is you know um and we are too and we have words we can talk we can share we can you know post a psalm on facebook or on instagram we can um when someone asks us man laura you know you and your family have been through a lot we can share the reason for the hope that we have within right father in heaven i thank you that you are our god you are glorious you are exalted you are greatly to be praised no weapon formed against us shall prosper, Lord. We are your children. We are created by you, for you. The reason for our living on earth is to give you glory, to do your bidding, to glorify your name, to proclaim the name of Jesus um, in our homes, in our workplaces, in our families, at church, on the streets, wherever we go, that we could be bold and explain and exclaim that God is God, that Jesus Christ is the Lord and the Holy Spirit is his, the third person of the Trinity used to comfort others and that you, Holy Spirit, will inspire others to say yes to Jesus and no to the flesh, Lord. Thank you for gospel truth. Thank you, Jesus, that you're the way, the truth, and the life. Thank you, God, for this beautiful day with these puffy white skies and a little bit of blue. And for this cooler weather, it's feeling like fall. We're here towards the end of September. And the last month, even part of this month, was so hot. Triple digits. There was fires, God. There was... Um, 
people, you know, passing out from dehydration, um, fainting. But your word says that you provided for the children of Israel, the cloud by day and the fire by night. And it's so true, Lord. Even last night, I could feel my arms getting cold because my arms are used to the warmth of the heat. And at night, it's cooler weather and I needed a little blanket. And that's what you do. You warm us when we're cold and you cool us when we're hot. You are exactly what we need and more. The great I am, everlasting father, prince of peace, Melech, king of kings and lord of lords, alpha and omega. You are the ancient of days. You are the just judge. You are Al Shaddai, God almighty, Adonai, our master. You are everything that we need. Al Olam, everlasting God. You are Al, the strong one. You provide chesed, your kindness, God. You are kind and compassionate, God. Slow to anger and rich in love. You're a compassionate, God. I look at Isaac and I see how compassionate you have been towards him and allowing us to get this um, upcoming appointment at Chalk Hospital, Lord. These appointments are rare and difficult, but you've allowed us to get these appointments for Isaac and I'm so thankful Lord thank you for my beautiful daughter Olivia getting to go to a Christian school what an honor what a privilege it is thank you for her Lord thank you for all of those people that have helped her along the way grandma and grandpa giving her rides Nana Becky her generosity her love her prayers Amy Clark giving her rides to dance um, so many people have stepped in because of the challenges of raising Isaac. Lord, I remember when she was so little and she said, Mommy, how come I don't go to dance class anymore? And I, I didn't have the heart to tell her it's because of your brother. We can't take you to dance. It's too hard. And you open up the door for her to be able to continue to go to dance class. And you provided Jehovah Jireh the, the money, the funds for us to allow her to take dance. And that is her her greatest joy is to be in dance and I'm so thankful for that God I pray a blessing over each and every person praying with me right now father from Glenda to my mom to Amy to Valerie Dorenzis to Margaret to anyone that's praying right now Barbara Shami Sandy bless each one of them bless my brothers and sisters in Christ Lord I pray for Reuben Meza and Jade and River Lord going through a very tumultuous time Lord their home had mold in it and Reuben couldn't breathe properly he wasn't healing properly God I pray for his lungs I pray that any damage that that horrible mold did would be completely eradicated from his body it would heal his body father I want to pray for all of the special needs families God out there going through hard seasons for Erica Ferrer for Joshua for his family um Joshua and Erica Ryan Ashley and Jeremiah but also my friend Rachel her son Joshi Lord is at Portview with Isaac for all of the friends and family at Portview God it is a hard road as they as our kids get older and bigger and various ailments last night Isaac almost made himself throw up through hiccups and burping Lord and I Chuck and I freak out we say oh no not another thing God but Lord we know that for every child that comes across our plate it was filtered by you first. And I thank you for that. I pray for anyone that's going through heavy duty trials this morning, praying with us right now, that they would know that you, God, filter those trials first and that no weapon formed against us shall prosper, that we are kings and priests. We are part of a royal priesthood and you're going to take care of us. You always have. You've never failed us. You've never let us down. Your banner over us is love. We are part of the bride of Christ and you are our bridegroom and we hear your footsteps, Lord. We know that the time is ever so short. You're coming again and we say, Maranatha, come quickly, Lord Jesus. But at that same breath, we say, wait, Lord, wait. We want to see our loved ones come back to you, the prodigals. We want to see those that don't know you get saved. I pray for my niece, Juliana. Lord, she is not in a good place. She's in middle school and she's saying she's non-binary and she is so lost. She's drank the Kool-Aid of the Kool-Aid of the evil wickedness of this world. 
and I pray for her. I pray you would bring good godly teachers and mentors and helpers and even Christian friends. Put them in her path, my Jesus, please. I pray for Maddox. I pray for all of my family, Lord. Tishy and Manda lost their dad, Walter. Comfort those that are grieving, Lord. Comfort all of those that are grieving and bring them back, Lord. What good is it if someone dies and we're sad, but we don't come to you and we don't run to you? The word of God says the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and are safe. But my nieces, they don't know to run to you. They just run to the world. Oh, I'm going to do deep breathing and meditation. Father, what good is that? We need your comfort. We need your great big giant Abba arms to be wrapped around us. I need that, God. I need your comfort. Forgive me of all my sins, God. I don't want to be stubborn or prideful or selfish. I don't want to have my own Laura agenda. I yield. Forgive me, God. I want to be a yielding daughter. I want to say yes, Lord, and obey. Father, make all of us obedient sons, obedient daughters, that we would be like Samuel. Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. When we read your word, when we go to church, when we listen to podcasts, when we listen to K-Wave, when we listen to Bible teachings, that we would say, yes, Lord, your servant is listening, that we would be obedient, God, to your call. When you call us out, as scary as it is, we would be obedient. I pray for all of the pastors and teachers that they would guard their um, time in your word, that it would not be perfunctory or rote, but that they would be still and know you are God. Father, I pray for my precious sister in Christ, Rebecca, having surgery this morning. It's scary, God. I pray over her, Lord, that the doctors would have skill and that the surgery would go smooth and that she would be... Um, she would not be afraid, Lord. When I'm afraid, I will trust in you. In God whom I praise, I will put my trust. I shall not be afraid for what can man do to me. Be with Rebecca. Be with Mitch. Be with their son, um, Justin, this morning, God. That they would not fret, but they would be totally at rest. Knowing, God, that you will calm this storm and that you will perform this work. You who began a good work in Rebecca, um, you're faithful to complete it. Bless us this day, O oh Lord. We need you and we're desperate for you. We're desperate for a touch from you. In Jesus' precious, mighty, matchless name we pray. Amen.